Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Yesterday I made a video on this and it came out quite well, but it wasn't like this was continuous, like it, it has a bigger spot there. So I started thinking, so if you didn't watch part one to learn how to do this and put it to the envelope shape, you need to watch that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that first one, we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and we're gonna fill in these two spots. Now we're gonna grab that and move that out of the way, move it up and move this up exactly where it was. We're gonna left click, right click. Now we're gonna group that together for a second, control G. And then we're gonna alternate C to turn the rotation to the center of the page. Now I'm gonna rotate it 12 degrees. You've gotta have something, I didn't make a duplicate, control D. Rotate it 12 degrees, and you need to inspect how close it is. And it's really close. So what we want to do is just alter this one. So we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in and move it up, fill that in and move it up. We can go ahead and get rid of these. Let's take this and move it back down and back down. And we're going to left-click, right-click. We're going to Control G to group. Control D to duplicate and alternate C to rotate it from the center. And we're going to rotate it 12 degrees. Now you can see it fits in there perfectly. So what we need to do is we can go in and back up and we can, it's probably easier instead of breaking it apart, just make a new one. Do that, do that, move them up. I'm just filling in with the smart fill tool, move them back. And then we can actually color them with the Smart Fill tool. And we're going to take the Interactive Fill tool and go like this. Put black like we did on the first video on both sides. Put a white right in the middle. Turn your handle where it kind of emulates going around it. And we could change it. We could add another white and make it like really a wider band something like that. Now we can leave this one black, but we're gonna play with it a little bit, use the interactive fill tool. And we're gonna put a kind of a medium gray here and then a black up here. So it appears, well, let's even use a le little bit less of a medium gray. Now what we need to do, and this is pretty simple, I'm going to move this one to make it easier for me. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. I'm going to control D and duplicate it. I'm going to alter the C to rotate it from the center. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate that 12 degrees. Control D all the way around. Don't do it too much. But we need to, let's move these. Let's move this out of the way. And go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's group these together. Control G. You know what? I don't know where my other piece went. I might have deleted it. So let's move it out of the way. There we go. Let's grab these. Control G to group. Now we can bring this one back in. And we can take that one and control D. Alternate C. Rotate it 12 degrees. Control D again, all the way around. And that alone looks pretty cool. But what we need to do is take this one, which is all of them, and let's just move them out of the way. We need to group these together, Control G. Because we're really working in the center page, we can hit P. Now we need to take our, if I mean, let alone, that looks pretty cool. But let's take an ellipse and hit P. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And if you will grab that while holding down the shift key and have it grow that way and then control D to make a duplicate, hold it down the shift key and make it like that thick. We need to take that line and that line and we could possibly just turn it red. Well, it's going to turn the inside red. We actually need to Let's back up here. 
And let's change our duplicate distance to get it completely out of the way. So this is over 25 inches. So let's set our nut factor on 26. Let's grab our line and move it out of the way. Grab our other line, move it out of the way. Whoop. Well, we can actually get our line because we can probably grab that easier and put it back. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And because I'm not touching all that other circle, it'll do that. Let's take our Smart Fill tool. Fill that in. Let's go ahead and go with another. Let's go yeah, red again. And we move it over. The lines will stay. Now, because we grouped all those items together, let's zoom in here. We can grab this outer shape and go up to object order back uh, front of page. And there you have it. You have a continuous ring around that object. And you could, you know, you could keep playing with that and, and make that, see, I've got the red selected. Uh, you could do a lot with that. You could change the color, you know, whatever you think looks the best. Uh, the blue doesn't look bad. The light blue doesn't look bad. Um, let's go with the purple. So it just depends on what you're wanting to do. But that's pretty cool. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.